Hi, my name's Simon from Motordrome and today we're going to take a walk around and a drive off this uh, replica um, World War II Jeep that you can see behind me. I say, for the avoidance of doubt, it is a replica, not the real thing. Um, but hope you like the videos anyway. One walk around, one driving with a bit of engine action as well. Hi, my name's Simon from Motordrome and uh, we're going to take this uh, uh, replica World War II Jeep for a spin. Apologies, I'm not going to do a long video on this one, on normal driving video, because number one, the camera's mounted in a strange way because um, you can't really see the car moving along the road because there's no doors or anything like that on it. I need to tuck that in. Um, and it's mounted on the screen. The screen will rattle and stuff. It'll just be unwatchable. So I'm just going to do a quick run up the road. But I've done about ooh, 20, 25 miles on it. It's brilliant. It really is. Um, yeah, absolutely lovely. Starts nicely, hot or cold, just gets on with the job. Um, gearbox has got quite a long throw on it. It's a bit like stirring porridge, but then again, an original one would have been anyway. Uh, right, let's fire it up. Now, although you can't see it, the ignition light comes up as it should. And it starts nicely. Starts well, as I say, whether it's hot or cold. All the gauges, volt meter, oil, oil pressure, temperature and um, fuel are working. Uh, speedo however isn't and I can see underneath the, um, the speedo cable has come away from the gearbox and a bit has dropped off it so uh, it needs a little bit for the drive on the gearbox but you don't really need a speedo on this you can't go fast enough um, anyway let's take it out into first this one's got four speed gearbox on it I think it's from the Ford Anglia that it was originally based on So apologies in advance if there's rattling, squeaking, wind noise, all sorts of things. You know, as I say, it's mounted on the uh, on a flexible screen on the car. Into second. No signs of any misfiring, hesitancy or overheating from the motor. Um, the temperature gauge sits at between sort of 70 and 80 degrees all the time. I'm only going very slowly here because there's a cyclist in front of me. We need to turn left. Um, gearbox is no synchro problems. As I say, you have got a rather uh, sloppy horror to turn the left as well. Indicators on. Rather sloppy gear shift. this actually it does need a little bit of uh, throttle input to get it moving
okay here with one does. So, as I say, I think it's splendid. So, there we have it. Right, let's fire this Jeep up and show you what the engine runs like when it's stationary. Ignition light on. It's nice and warm at the moment. Let's make sure it's in neutral. Yeah. Starts nicely, whether it's hot or cold, no problems there. Well, one thing I will show you is the, that's the horn, but that is the siren. <laughs> so let's have a look on the bonnet. Ford, um, Ford engine. I don't know if it's a 1300, I can't remember if it's pre cross flow or cross flow, but I'll tell you that in the description. Um, nice set of exhaust headers on it. It's had a lot of work done for the engine actually, um, and it runs really sweetly. It looks like a Weber carburetor conversion. In the shadows. Yeah, this runs nicely all round doesn't get hot, doesn't misbehave, sounds nice. I was going to have a look, yes it's got front disc brakes on it I think rather than drums, looking down through there, it certainly stops nicely. Yeah front discs, um, yeah it's, it's just super, hope you can see what you need to see.